Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Kenneth Small and today we will try to answer the question Is Elden Ring easy for you? And I specifically say for you because it depends. It depends on what you can work with and more importantly how much bullshit resistant are you? Because yes, Elden Ring is the easiest Souls game to get into. It is still a tough game and it has a lot of the, as I call it, from software bullshit. So let's look into it, shall we? By the way, what you are seeing here in the background is me just playing Elden Ring on stream. And you can find me from Monday to Friday, starting at 9 a.m. East Coast time, which is 2 p.m. UK time and 3 p.m. Central European time over at Trovo dot live slash chaos wall and you will find the link in the video description and we are playing a lot of Elden Ring right now. But let's answer the question, is this game easy for you? Well, here's the thing. I have been playing from software games since the PlayStation 1 era and Armored Core. And from software has changed quite a bit. They got much, much easier to get into their games and I would still not call them easy games. Even Elden Ring is not an easy game. There's enough enemies which will two or three shot you, or there are certain combos which will one shot you, they will overwhelm you, and you will be very angry at some of those situations. So that still exists. But with that said, From Software is also now doing a lot to ease your way into Elden Ring in comparison to a Dark Souls game. Like the first thing, which is a huge advantage in comparison to what uh, the Dark Souls games are doing, is the open world. Because you can just decide where you want to go. And yes, sure, some areas are definitely not made to go to as a new and freshly created character. You will get murdered there in an instant. But you still have tons of choices where you want to go to and where you start your adventure. And sometimes you will find areas which will be super easy for you. The boss fights will be easy for you. The enemies are easy to control. And then there will be areas where you just don't want to be. I had that to me. Even as a veteran, I had moments where I found areas for me which were good. Right, I was going through them. I was like, hey, this was actually not too bad. And then I had areas where I was just thinking, I want to leave now. And this, the same goes with boss fights. Like one of the first bosses you find in the game is the Tree Guardian, which is the golden, golden armored horse dude. And for me personally, the worst boss so far in the game. I had no fun fighting that boss fight. I had no fun beating that boss fight. And I just wanted it to end because it was so frustrating to me. And then there was another boss fight and I don't really want to spoil that because it's, it's a bit of a surprise, right? Um, but there was another boss fight which was considered as one of the tougher fights in the game. And I think I needed two or three... I think three real tries and then I killed the boss after the third time and I was like, hey, this was fun and also this wasn't really that hard. Like, I didn't really have a problem with it and people were like, yeah, that's surprising. Like, what? Yeah, because it depends on what you like on certain boss fights and which mechanics you, you were good against. Like, I'm somebody who is really good against boss fights where the enemies are super slow, but they hit super hard, right? I'm really, really good with that. I have my problem, though, with very fast and energetic boss fights. You know, when the boss is starting to zip-zapping over your screen, you are just like, where did he go? Right? I'm a, I can't. I can't deal with that. And so because of the open world mechanics, you can just say, you know what, this whole area with the poison, with the flying monsters and the teleporting enemies. Yeah, no, thanks. 
I don't need anything out of that area. I don't care. I don't want to be there. I just leave. And you know what? That's completely fine. Because the only mandatory bosses here in this game are the main story bosses. And they have been so far... They have been tough. They have been tough. But they have been so far... Okay. I, I haven't found a main story boss fight yet where I really thought, ugh, never again. You know? So that's the first thing, which is really good. The second thing, which also makes it easier for you to get into the game, is the changes they made to gameplay aspects. So there have been a lot of gameplay aspects in the game where the game is more or less leaving you alone and leaving you to your devices when it comes to boss fights or certain areas in the game where a lot of tough enemies are. And now, thankfully, thankfully, the game is giving you summons. Summons is a new system, a system where you can like resummon some of the ashes of a fallen well i don't want to say heroes but fallen companions like wolves soldiers or majors or something like that and they can help you in the fight and as long as you have mana you can resummon them and they can be really helpful as a tank as a dps as a support unit and it makes it makes it feel like you are not fighting at least the beginning of those boss fights alone. They're not always usable, but most of the time, and they help a little bit. They don't make boss fights redundant. They don't make them super easy, but at least you are not feeling alone anymore, and you might actually get the support to beat the boss fight. And they have also done this with equipment. Like, weapons are a little bit easier to find now. There are tons of different variations. Souls are abundant. Like, you can level up your character quite quickly if you so desire. And all in all, like, the mechanics have now been fine-tuned to really strengthen your character, even if you don't min-max that character. And I think that will help a lot of new players. The next thing we have to talk about, and they have done a little bit better in this game, is the From Software bullshit. What is the From Software bullshit? Why I call it that, I don't know really if there is even a name for that. But From Software has a lot of moments where you sometimes sit in front of your monitor and you just think, what was that? Who came up with this gameplay mechanic? And don't get me wrong, that still exists in Elden Ring. It's, it's totally there. And other publishers slash developers would get flamed on social media for, for some of their gameplay decisions. But not in From Software games. In From Software games, for whatever weird reason, those weird quirks and gameplay decisions are being seen as what makes Dark Souls a tough game, or Elden Ring even a tough game. And again, they cut back on that bullshit. Like, let me give you an example here that you understand what I mean. Hitboxes. Let's face it. The Dark Souls hitboxes were sometimes absolute horrible. You see like a blade coming at you, and the blade is going over your head, clearly not hitting you, and bam, you are losing health. And it's like, why? No, that blade didn't hit me. Or when like an enemy is charging at you and the blade is like stopping a few meters away from your character and you are still getting hit by that. I was like, you didn't hit me. And the same goes with some spell effects in the other Souls games where the spell itself could still hit you even though from a graphic perspective you were out of range, right? And that, that was pretty annoying sometimes. And they have fixed this now in Elden Ring. There are still moments where, like, I just had a boss fight where there was actually, like, a graphic effect on the ground and I wasn't even in that graphic effect and I died. And I was like, wait, what? How, how did that happen? Right? And so it's still there, 
but it's much more manageable and it feels less infuriating. And I think that's a huge plus in comparison to the Souls games. So all in all, yes, Elden Ring is a huge improvement and especially the open world aspect might be the thing which will win you over to find something in this game which brings you joy and will not make this a miser miserable experience. Like that you actually can just advance to the next area or you can just come back later to a certain boss fight is such a huge help for newcomers because sometimes you have boss fights you, you just are not good at. I had enough of them. Like I'm completely struggling against everything which is wearing a shield. I, I, I just can't. And so I can just say, okay, you know what? I'll come back when I have some better equipment and had some level ups. And I know you could have done that in the Souls games before. This is not necessarily something new. But because of the open world, it just feels better. You know? And so is the game for you? Well, if all the things I have said in the video doesn't really concern you too much, then yeah, yeah, the game is totally for you. If a lot of the things I said annoy you already, then no, no, this game is not for you. Like Elden Ring, even though it's absolutely amazing, it is a game which is not for everyone. And I think that's also makes it sometimes as amazing as it is because they're not trying to appeal as as many people as possible but they are trying to make a certain group of people very happy and i think they do that really well unfortunately that means that not everyone will find joy in this game and that sucks i know that like i'm, I'm certainly of the group which even says hey build an easy mode into the Dark Souls games, into the Souls games. Like, who are you hurting by not having that in the game? Like, you can still play it on a normal difficulty and get your ass beaten. Absolutely, right? Like, there, there are so many things they can still improve, and I hope they will improve in the future, but Elden Ring is the first step in the right direction to make this happen. And again, if you are still on the fence of if you should play the game, uh, the best advice I can really give you, watch some streams, watch some YouTube videos, and if everything you are seeing is turning you off, then yeah, the game is not for you. If you enjoy it, then check the game out. With that said, thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate if you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, you want to see daily gaming news, reaction videos, tips and tricks for new games, then I would appreciate if you might leave a subscription. And if you ever want to catch me live, you could do so from Monday to Friday, starting at 9 a.m. East Coast time, which is 2 p.m. UK time and 3 p.m. Central European time over at trovo.live slash chaosmall. And you can find the link in the video description. If you still have any questions, just post them in the comments. And to answer one last question before we leave, yes, I did beat the boss. And I'm actually using uh, his sword for my actual build right now in Elden Ring. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Stay safe.